Hi guys, so today I'm filming a very highly requested video. I think it's probably the most requested video. As you can tell from the title, it's a what's in my bag video. I haven't done one in ages. So grab yourself a cup of tea or coffee because it might be a long video. I'm having my milk you long tea because it's so rainy and gloomy outside. So I haven't sorted out my bag in, I don't know, in weeks. And so I thought it's a very good representation of what my bag actually looks like without me sorting it out and making it look really nice and clean and organized. Um, my bag is literally like a pile of junk. It's, it, it, I don't even know what's inside. This is my bag, the one I've been carrying everywhere with me recently and it's a perfect uni bag because I'm a student, I just chuck everything in it. It has gold feet on the bottom and then it has these side clips and uh, you can attach this you know shoulder strap if you want to but I don't like shoulder straps I just carry it like that in the crook of my arm and it's a really beautiful bag it's inspired by Chloe tote bag at least that's what I like to think and it has this side pocket which is pretty handy as well for carrying like uni papers or documents or whatever so yeah let's take a look at what's inside the bag shall we so the first thing I have here is a bottle of water because I already had a class this morning I pretty much drank all of the water because I don't know in the mornings I feel really thirsty um, and it's important to stay hydrated as you guys know then I have my hairbrush this is brown satin hair 7 ionic hairbrush you just click this and you know, it produces ions and if you have frizzy hair or on rainy days like today, it's great to tame um, the flyaways. So I always have this brush in my bag. Another thing here is this pouch. This is from H&M and here I keep all of my receipts and like all kinds of papers and stuff. Here I also have my portable charger for my iPhone because I'm on Instagram a lot, let's face that, and uh, it's very handy to have. It's called Mipao Power Tube, and I bought it at the airport in Istanbul. This part lights up, it's red, and when it's fully charged, it turns blue. And then you put this thingy in, and then you basically charge your iPhone on the go. I like how small and compact this is, and it's quite a nice looking um, charger. Next thing I have here, I have lots of really bulky things, so that's why my bag is super heavy. Um, this is my organizer in this kind of aubergine color. Um, it's from Aspinall of London and it's a really nice classy leather organizer. Their bijou organizer in case you need the name. And here I have just a bunch of things. I have Carl. I put this quote in here. Do all things with love. And then it's it's a great organizer. It has these kind of yellowish pages. Otherwise, I forget everything. At the back here, I have videos I have to film, things I need to buy, and yeah, things I need to do. It basically has all my life here, and I got into the habit of planning everything, and it's just so much easier. You can get things out of your head. Then I have my sunglasses, the ones I recently got, Prada Cat Eye Sunnies. I love these. They're so beautiful, and they're in this kind of um, tortoise shell print, almost, like the front bit and the sides are brown. And um, here's the reference number. I'm gonna leave it in the info bar. It, I don't think they have a particular name and that's what they look like on. I think they're amazing. I love them and they come in this really nice sturdy case which means that they're not gonna break. Then I have my iPhone. This, uh, this is an iPhone 4S. I have a picture of me and my cat Louis on my screen. My wallet. I love this wallet so much. It's just so soft and squishy and the color is beautiful and it's the perfect size. It fits in my smaller bags, bigger bags. So I have a bunch of cards, grocery shop cards and like, you know, gas station cards, discount cards, my ID, my driver's license. This is what I look like. I, kind of, I think I kind of look like Avatar in this picture. I don't really look like myself here. Um, and then, of course, I have my Max uh, loyalty card because this is my favorite coffee shop in the world. And then I have another pouch. It's also from H&M and it's this kind of nude pouch. And here I keep all of my discount cards, loyalty cards. I have 
a ton of them. I think I have a card from every single store. That's how you know you're a shopaholic. Red wipes, vanilla and cotton, and these are from H&M. I got these in Paris and they smell so nice. Then I have my keys. I have two sets of keys and I know I probably look ridiculous with those, but I love them. I love these pom-poms. First of all, they're colorful, so it's easy for me to know which set of keys is which and uh, it's also very easy for me to find keys in this bag because it's like an endless pit when I put my hand into my bag I take the thing that's fluffy and that's how I know it's my keys so um, these are my house keys and my car keys I have a remote for my house gates um, I have this rose gold teddy bear it's actually from this company called Rigabel they're based in uh, Riga and uh, it's a gift service, so every gift box comes with this uh, rose gold teddy bear attached to it, which is really cute. I have this angry cup of coffee that I got with when I bought um, Orbit gum. And then I have this uh, red leather heart with a symbol of Florence on it. Um, Florence is probably my favorite city in the world, well, maybe along with Paris. And I've been there twice and I loved my heart in Florence. I would love to live there, so that's why I have it on here. And these two keys are from my, this one is from my PO box and this is from my letter box at home. And then I have this Eiffel Tower and then I have this very sentimental keychain, which was actually a present from Rigabel company as well, when my cat Bella passed away and they kindly sent this to me. It's handmade, it's leather. And it's exactly in the color that Bella was and it has a little heart that says Bella, so I love it. It was such a nice thoughtful present. My pencil case, which is from H&M as well. It seems like I really do love H&M. Um, and I have two pens. These are my two favorite pens. I have black one, Cello Pronto Italy. That's uh, I love thin pens because they make your writing beautiful. So this is uh, a very thin black pen and this is cello silk uh, it's just a blue pen automatic pencil i have a purple highlighter and then i have lead for for the pencil forgot i had it in here i got this um, gold and silver marker whenever i send out something to people um i leave a note so i thought writing the note in silver or, or gold would be a lot more beautiful feminine products i have extra mango and melon gum which tastes really good, but the flavor doesn't last, so I don't, I'm not a fan of it. I have corny banana and chocolate cereal bar. I love it. Love having this with coffee. I have the Body Shop Shea Butter Hand Cream, which I love. It smells amazing and it's just generally a very good hand cream. I think it actually even beats L'Occitane, which is quite a big statement for me because I love L'Occitane hand creams. I have my earphones that are always tangled. Oh, I have um, a hair clip. This is from H&M as well. I have a butterfly hair clip, a bobby pin. What are these doing here and where are these from? Oh, I remember these are from the plane actually when I flew to Germany. So it was more than a month ago and I haven't eaten them. Yeah. Oh my God. Another chocolate with linseed. This is a Lithuanian chocolate. I've never tried it before. I got it in my TESOL class, teaching English to students of other languages. And uh, yeah, basically we had a, a group presentation and someone gave me the candy. Then I have Lavaza brown sugar, because fun fact for you guys, I'm collecting sugar. I have a gun wrap, glamorous. I have, oh, this is, a uh, perfume sample from Byrado and it was their perfume called Blanche which smells like a laundry detergent so I don't know who would pay 150 euro this is Sensodyne gum I got it in Germany as well and I don't like it at all it does taste like toothpaste <laughs> another chocolate this is Lithuanian um, Karuna uh, Karalishka's royal chocolate and this is 70% cacao. These are really delicious. I don't like when there is higher percentage than that because then it's just too bitter and I, I can't eat it. I think it's... Ugh. Um, I love 70% black chocolate. I have another perfume sample. This was Serge Luton's 
but I can't remember which perfume it was. I have a hair grip, have a um, hair elastic, I have another bobby pin. I have my makeup bag, which is from Mango. I love this makeup bag. It's just so nice and squishy and simple, pretty classic. And um, let's go through the makeup I'm carrying with me every day. This is my L'Oreal Lumi Magique Under Eye Concealer Brightener. I have my Chanel uh, Le Beige Powder in number 10, which is just a really nice blotting powder and it smells lovely. It doesn't make you look cakey. Um, this is Maybelline Color Sensational Shine Gloss in Coffee Kiss, one of my all-time favorite lip glosses. My Rimmel Notting Hill Nude Lipstick, which you guys know I absolutely love. Clinique Chubby Stick in Whole Lotta Honey, my all-time favorite lip product and it's pretty much gone. <laughs> So I'll need to repurchase that. Our Deco Collagen Lip Booster, which is just a really nice um, lip gloss. NARS Satin Lip Pencil in Isola Bella. Amazing, um, kind of like a warm orangey nude color. Really beautiful and the formula is just oh, amazing. Then I have L'Occitane Honey Hand Cream. I've had this for ages, but because it was a limited edition, I was kind of saving it, didn't want to use it up, but I love the scent of it. And then I have this H&M Tiny Kabuki for my powder, which is really nice and soft. And then I have Compete. This is um, just like a little balm. Looks like a chopstick or something, but it's for your feet. Whenever you have blisters, you can put it on and it will, you know, kind of make it better. <clears throat> That's everything I have in here. And then, um, and now I'm gonna go through the side pocket. I have this mirror, which is from Espinal of London, and it was a gift from Rigabel company as well. And it's in this kind of lizard print. And then in the other side pocket, I have Marks and Spencer's Peppermint Breath Refresher Spray, which I don't like at all, I prefer gum. I have this Kiko Kiss Balm in Coconut, which is just a really nice moisturizing lip balm, but it has so many chemicals and nasty things that I kind of don't want to use it. Then I have Avoplex, uh, OPI Avoplex Cuticle Oil, which is just the best. Then I have this organic handmade lip balm from Lithuanian company called Bonjour Love, and it's their lip balm in Je t'aime Paris, but everything has rubbed off and it smells like bananas. I, I believe it has mango and mango butter, almond oil, shea butter, maybe. It's, I can't remember exactly, but it has lots of nourishing, good ingredients, and literally it just smells like bananas, which is amazing. Then I have Essence Show Your Feet Blister Patches, and one of them is a Compete, Compete uh, Blister Patch. Business card? I was sent some jewelry. This is one of my subscribers uh, from Canada. She's called Scarlett, so hi Scarlett if you're watching, and she sent me these Brass Beak is her company on Etsy and she sent me these amazing gold hammer drinks. So I absolutely love them and so you guys should check out her store on Etsy. Then I have another perfume sample. This is Jo Malone, cannot smell anything anymore. And then the last thing in my bag is this um, medicine or pill case. I have lots of pills from headache, stomach ache, yeah, that kind of stuff and it says my little pharmacy in French. And that's everything in my bag. So yeah, have a great day, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.